with a stick. How about a rolling pin? Can I hit him with a rolling pin? You have anything fun in your house, old man? Why do you have blood on your why do you have blood on your dress? Linda? Well, hello. It's true, and they smell funny. Mr. Harris does not smell funny. But okay. Old people do sort of smell funny. No, you're both sweeping. Fun. Great. We found our town. We eat people too. Oops. I didn't mean to strip him naked. I just meant to eat him. For days. Go to sleep, Junior! Talk me! Doggy, what are you doing? I only have 44 mentats. I'd be really upset if I wasted one. Who are you? Hello. Talk to me. Talk to me. Good to see you. Well, hi there. Welcome to Andale. I'm Willie Wilson, though folks just call me Bill. Is there anything I can do for you? Tell me about Andale. Why, it's a place to settle down and raise a family. Of course, we don't just let anyone in here. The Homeowners Association is very clear on that. Besides, there's no room as amazing as Andale is. Is it any wonder that all the houses would be full of happy families? What do you do around here? I feed my family and I love my wife and daughter. What else more is there to life, stranger? Family first. And any man who says anything different is saying something wrong. And you should hit that man with a stick. How about a rolling pin? Can I hit him with a rolling pin? Please? Eat them like some barbecue chicken. You're in for a surprise. Yay! That's it? Hey, you have a great day. You too, Bill! What a nice man. You're new here, aren't you? Junior Smith. Wow. I've never got a chance to talk to the new people. Dad always takes care of them before I get a chance. What'd you just say to me? Do you like living in Andale? It's okay, I guess. There aren't a lot of kids around here, and no one who comes to visit stays around long. Dad says it could be worse. But there are a lot of starving kids in other places. But still, I wish I had more kids to play with. What do your parents do? The same things that all parents do. My mom cooks and cleans the house, and my dad goes to work with Mr. Wilson. They work in the basement, or sometimes in Mr. Wilson's shed. Dad says that when I'm older, I'll come to work with him and learn the family business. Tell me about Anto. It's swell, except... I wish there were more kids, and my dad says I'm gonna have to marry smelly old Jenny Wilson someday. That is not nice. He keeps saying stuff to my it. mom about keeping the family going, and how when him and Mr. Wilson were brothers, they didn't want to get married. It's weird. That means Mr. Wilson is my uncle, and Jenny is... something. I don't know. It seems weird to marry her. It is weird. So long. Hug me. Can I get inside the house, please? What? How? How did you get in here? What are you doing in this town? Get out! Get out while you can! Slow down, Grandpa! What's wrong? What's wrong? You don't see anything wrong with a quiet little town full of friendly people in the middle of a blasted wasteland? You're right. I hate friendly people. And you're right sensible, too. Especially around here. The friendly neighbor bit is just an act. These people are stone-cold killers. Get out while you can. Just get as far away from here as possible. You have anything fun in your house, old man? This old man ain't got nothing good. You suck. All right, so stone-cold killers, he says. Stone cold killers, he says. I'm President John Henry Eaton, and you're listening to Enclave Radio, the voice of warmth and reason in this cold, unreasonable world. Not yet, but you want to. Yeah, I do too. Surprising, yeah. Well, hello there. Why do you have blood on your dress? Fine day, isn't it? Why do you have blood on your Why do you have blood on your dress? Linda? Well, hello. 
Welcome to Andale, winner of the best town in the USA contest. This dump, are you serious? Well now, I'm sure that your home is just so much better than our little Andale. It is. I'm from an underground vault, lady. Trust me, this place sucks. Well, I never. The nerve of some people. At least some of us know how to take the high road. Did you want something, Miss Fancy Underground Vault? Or did you just come here to turn your nose up at us? Uh, what's wrong with that Harris guy? Has he been spreading his stories again? Poor guy. I'll just have Catch to have up. Jack give him a talking to. Tell me about Endo. Oh, so you can just make fun of us again? No, thank you. Really? Don't be such a stranger. I'm not sure if she likes me or not. Evening. Who are you? Hello? Hello there, stranger. Good to meet you. Name's Jack Smith. I hear you've already met my wife. Sweet lady, isn't she? Already met but my anyway, wife. But <laughs> anyway, welcome to Andale, the best little town in Virginia. Virginia's been gone for 200 years. Yeah, you're a little too chipper for my taste. I'm out of here. Virginia's been gone for 200 years. Not here, not in Andale. No, ma'am. The great commonwealth of Virginia is alive and well. In fact, we just voted ourselves a new governor. You voted for governor. How does that work? The adults walked right on down to the polling location and dropped ballots into the box. How do you think it works? Yes, sir, it's every American's civic duty to cast his vote for his favorite Republican candidate. Am I right? Ah, I get it. You're crazy. No, ma'am, not crazy. Just a loyal American. Who did you vote for? Now, now, my vote is my business and no one else's. But I'll tell you one thing. We didn't vote for any beatnik liberal commies, that's for sure. Ah, uh, well, it's good to meet you, Jack. And it's good to meet you, too. Feel free to stay in Andale as long as you like. Heck, stop by the house for dinner sometime if you'd like. Just let Linda know beforehand so she can make enough for four. Thanks, Jack. Maybe I'll do that. I hope to see you there. So, did you need anything else? Old Man Harris doesn't seem very happy. Yeah, well, he's hit it rough. Ever since his wife died, he just hasn't been enthusiastic about the Andale lifestyle anymore. He stays locked up in his house all day, and the girls bring him his meals. He barely eats enough to stay alive. Poor guy. He's all skin and bones. Don't kill me. Please. What's wrong with that Harris guy? Oh, old man Harris? Don't mind him. He's gone, you know, a little soft in his later years. Ever since Gladys died, he just hasn't been the same. He said you were all crazy killers. Did he now? I've talked to him about spreading rumors. I guess I'll just have to have another little chat with him. Every time he does this, he scares our new friends off, and we love people. It's a shame when they slip out of our grubby little paws. <laughs> hmm. What do you do around here? I work to feed my family just like every red-blooded American man should. Why, a man that can't keep his family fed isn't any kind of man at all. No, sir. Tell me about this place. Andale, greatest place there is. We win town of the year every year. We've got no end of food and no troubles at all. No yep, end of no food? there's no better place to raise a family. You're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, this guy's a little psycho. Um... I'll tell Linda and Junior that you said hello. Okay. Glorious day, isn't it? Not supposed to talk to strangers. Hello again. Hello again? NPCs are so weird. like your sunglasses and your coffee mugs hello hi well, Martha hello there I heard there was someone new coming how can our little family help you do you like living in Andale are you joking it's fantastic here the best town in the USA has been for why it's been so many years running that I've lost count What's wrong with that Harris guy 
Well, Dad always was a bit dad. off his rocker. Okay. Wait, he's your dad. Oh, it's dear. true, and they I smell funny. Slip, didn't I? He used to be, until I got married. I, what? I can't really say much more. Martha. Than that. Well, Dad always was a bit off his rocker. It's true, and they smell funny. Mr. Harris does not smell funny, but okay, old people do sort of smell funny. What do you think of Andel? Oh well, no one ever asks me my opinion about anything, but I love it here. We'll see you real soon. Dog meat. He just. I'm sorry about my dog. He, um, he's a menace. Um, so Old Man Harris is her father. And Bill and, what's the other fucking guy's name? Jack. Bill and Jack are brothers. That's a fine day, isn't it? Yeah, it's very hard. Yes, I can't get in there. Locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. Oh my god, we did it. Dog meat. We fucking did it. It's a fine day, isn't it? Yeah, why don't you guys go to sleep? Oh, there's a stranger in your house. Doesn't that sound like a good time? Go to sleep. No, you're both sweeping. Fun. Great. Yep. Mm. Dinner smells delicious, honey. Glorious day, isn't it? What the fuck was that noise? What was that noise? Oh, Jesus. Guys. We found our town. We eat people too. Yuck! Strange meat. We got... <gasps> Eyeball! Oops, I didn't mean to strip him naked. I just meant to eat him. Yeah, look at his fingies. Look at his fingies. What did I pick up? I picked up something I didn't want. Took his clothes have of that oh god all right all right now that we're fed and proper we ate all their food let's go oh. hey there stranger i've got something that i want to talk to you about i couldn't help but notice that you're poking around in my basement i i'm sorry i so ate your people be honest now you wouldn't know anything about that would you why is he doing this I almost grabbed a snack while I was there, but that would have been rude. You're right, it sure would have. You know, you're a breath of fresh air. Every time someone discovers our little secret, we have to hear about it. It's always, oh, how can you do this? Or, you're such terrible people. Or, please, not me, I have a kid in Rivet City. Well, I have kids too. Family first, that's the way it works in Andale. From the day that the first four families decided to stay here. Okay. You're not bad, stranger. Stop on by anytime and ask Linda for one of her special meat pies. Wow, thank you. Today is just a day of pie. We're getting all the pie today. We got the fucking, what's it called? The, the quantum pie. And now we're gonna have a special meat pie from Martha. Today is wonderful. What a good time. John Wick, welcome in. How are you? Thanks for being here for this glorious moment. I'll tell Linda and Junior that you said hello. Wow, we made some friends, you guys. <laughs> Did you see them all just put their fucking knives away at the same time? That is hilarious. Hello. <sighs> well, I'm not as rude as you, so I'll politely ask you what you need. Make me a pie. Oh, of course. Here you are. Enjoy. Thank you. Really? 
Don't be such a stranger. Wow! Guys, look! Look, are you ready? We got Mississippi Quantum Pie, and now we have Strange meat pie made from Meyer Lurk meat. They're not particularly filling and according to some produce flatulence. Granted, it's not as cool as the quantum pie, which gives us 20 AP and one strength, but it's a special pie and they made it just for us. What a wonderful town. Thanks guys. I had a great time in Andale. That was wonderful. Okay, I really wanna get in the other basement though. Will this key let me go in that? In this shack or whatever it is? Or does the other guy have a key to the shack? You little bitch. All right, we're gonna hard save and I'm gonna try to steal from our new friends. Hello there. Glorious day, isn't it? Don't even think about it. He has it. Hell yeah. Go to sleep, sweet angel. Go to sleep, friends. Everyone go to sleep. It's it's past you guys' bedtime. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, Junior. Junior! You're gonna go to sleep. Fuck did Junior just go? Go to sleep. Yes. Yes. We did it. Let's go open the shed. I mean, the garden. I mean, what is this place? Dog meat! Dog meat! What are you doing? Alright, well, I'm glad I went in there. I was never able to go in there. Jarl Belgruff the Eater. Welcome in. How are you? Smith, Smith, Smith. Can't believe I missed it. How did I miss it? I'm so stupid. I was probably distracted by all the dead bodies. Um, it was right in front of my face. What an idiot. I love how, like, stealing from that. Oops. I almost took a Mentats because my mouse skipped. Thank God I did not have been pissed. I only have, I only have 44 Mentats. I would have been really upset if I wasted one. I guess we're done here. That was such a good time. 